Hi guys, I'm Sophie Newton and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you for joining. So it's been a little while since I did a video. Um, I've just been really busy with like work and life and lockdown. Um, but lockdown is easing, it is July and um, some salons and beauty practitioners and hairdressers and things like that are allowed to open. So today I am going for Botox. I've never had it before and I'm so nervous and excited. And I know it's a very kind of controversial statement to make, I'm going with Botox as a young woman because I think a lot of people have such a negative like concept of what Botox is. I've always wanted it for my smile lines around my eyes. So you can see I'm very self-conscious of them. I have been for a number of years. I find that I squint a lot in the sun and that probably doesn't help. And I just kind of crinkle my eyes up and the lines are getting worse. And I'm 28 and I think I, now I'm at an age where I would like to have Botox around my eyes. Yes, maybe I am vain, but you know, I, I want to do it and it's something that I want to do. I'm going to the Red Brook Clinic in Salisbury and a lady called Louise is going to be doing my Botox today and I'm going to be getting it around my eyes. Now it's £140 usually but at the moment in July she's got 20% off so that's not too bad and I'm very nervous. So really quickly because I need to shoot soon. I do not like needles and I've been told by everybody to get this cream which is what I assume they've put on I've had put on my lips before, before before I've had lip filler. It's just Emla cream, numbing cream. It contains lidocaine and prilocaine. So it's a topical uh, anesthesia. And I'm gonna put some of this on now. I got this from Boots yesterday. It was about four pounds. And um, I'm just gonna put it around my eyes and hope that it takes away some of the pain. So I'll do that in a minute. Actually, no, I'll do that now. And then I'll show you something else that I've got. So the tube's teeny weeny. Oh, I got my nails done yesterday. So happy. I haven't had my nails done for three months and I bite my nails so bad. So I'm gonna do it with my finger, but you could probably do it with a cotton bud, but I'm gonna be, I've literally got like no time. So I've just got a mirror here. But I'm just putting it around the area that I'm gonna have treated. You can see. Now the pharmacist from Boots told me to put quite a thick layer on and he said to put it on around an hour before you go. Now, because I am lazy and I only just got out of bed, I don't have an hour. So I'm gonna have to do with half an hour and when it really hurts, that will be on me. So I'm just popping it around my eye. Now, I don't know what this is gonna feel like when it does start to numb because usually when I have it on my lips, I'm like, because you feel that you can't talk. So put it around my eyes in the hope that it does its job. When I first had my lips done, I, the lady that did them told me about this implement, which is really, really useful for people that are really scared of needles. I'll tell you why, because it distracts you. So this is just a face massager. Now the lady that did my lips ages ago, she had one that she used to give to her patients and essentially you just twist the bottom when it's got a battery in oh, and it vibrates. You can hear it, it's vibrating. And you just pop it somewhere on your skin to take away the kind of, not take away the pain but almost like take away like your thoughts from the needle. So like when I was having my lips done, I'd like put it here or here and you really focus on the vibration and it really, really helps distract you. Now I've used this every time I've had my lips done. This is my mom's, she lets me use it. And um, I also took it to the doctor recently when I was having a blood test and the, the nurse that did it was like, wow, I've never seen one of these. And they all know at the doctors that I'm such a wimp when it comes to needles. I hate needles, especially blood tests in my arm. Something about it just makes me feel really weird. And I used this and I did not go weird. I didn't go pale. I didn't go faint. I didn't start feeling like I was going to throw up. And this was so good. All I did was I just held it in my hands 
oh, I think I actually had that, it was that arm, I had it like here, and I was like just moving it over gently, just to different areas, just to really think about this and not everything that was else was that was going on. So I'm going to take this with me today for my Botox because I know a lot of people are really scared of needles. So I'm doing this video and kind of going to try and, you know, just go through this process and actually, you know, show you guys that it's really not as scary as everybody thinks. And I think it's mind over matter when it comes to needles. But this is so handy and I'd say if anybody's scared of injections or needles, do get one of these because it's such a distraction. You really do not think about the needle. You think more about this that what's going on, like the vibrations and the sensation, and you really kind of think about you know, like the cold metal on your skin, or just wherever you want to put it. So I'm taking this with me today, and I'm really, really um, excited to see if it, if it actually helps when it comes to having a needle around my eyes. So guys, I'm going to have to shoot soon. I'm going to try and film as much as I can, but I'm going to assume that I won't be allowed to film when I'm getting it done. I haven't already asked, so I'm going to say she will say no. But I will make sure that when I am back on camera, I will go through every detail with you once I've had it done. Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a little update. The cream is working. It feels really weird. It's like tingly, like cold, but it feels really nice. I've got my mask. Um, because I thought I'd take a mask just in case. And I've got a bottle of water. And I've made sure I've had something to eat. I had um, egg on toast. Because especially with needles and stuff, a lot of the time like you get really low blood sugar when you get like anxious. I feel like I do, especially when I have like uh, an injection or a blood test. And then I feel really weak and faint. Um, it's like when you go to give blood and they give you like sweets and chocolate afterwards. I think it's just a drop in your like blood sugar. I don't know whether it's to do with like adrenaline when you get scared. I mean, I know that that's for, like, when you have given blood, but I mean, like, in other circumstances, especially when I've been really nervous, I've always, like, really, like, and felt really faint and horrible and sick. Afterwards, I've always had, like, a piece of chocolate or something. So I think the best thing to do is, like, before you go for any medical treatment, um, when it comes to, like, needles and things like that, as long as you're allowed, have something to eat beforehand. So... I'm gonna go, I'm on nervous. Hey guys, I've had it done. Oh my God, I was so nervous. But it was so easy and painless and quick. I was done in 15 minutes. Like, I'm not even joking. You can see a little bit of redness. But she said she did five, um, went in five times on each side. I felt one there and a tiny bit there. What I felt here was maybe like that with like the, the acrylic, like that kind of feeling, like brushing your skin with your nail really was not pain painful at all. Um, I mean, when I went in, it was amazing. Like they were all gowned up. There was two ladies. They were so lovely. Um, it was really clean, really, really like reassuring. They had the radio on. They were really nice. I filled out a form. They asked me questions about like medical history. Absolutely fine. There was no, no red flags, nothing. It was so nice. They were just the loveliest ladies. They were so reassuring. I used, um, I used this. Um, I had it in my hand and then the lady that was doing the Botox was like, do you want to just pop it on your chin? So I did and really, really helped. There was like one point where I was like, am I going to get a bit like scared? Am I going to feel faint? I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel any anxiety like I was going to throw up or like pass out. So I'd recommend if anybody is worried about like any face treatments, like inject injections, definitely get one of these. So good. Um... Yeah, so I've been told that I'm not allowed to do anything strenuous for four hours. Can't drink alcohol. Obviously, I'm not going to. It's like nearly 10 o'clock in, in the morning. I just don't want to drink at 10 o'clock in the morning unless I was going on holiday, obviously. Um, but yeah, so I'm not doing anything, really. I've got work later, but that's absolutely fine. Um, she said you won't see anything for probably about five days, and then it'll kick in. It's not permanent. Obviously, your body will process it eventually, and then you have to keep getting it redone. But I am tempted to get it in my forehead next. But then I just thought maybe I'll just see how I go on with just around my eyes. Um, yeah, you can't, I can't see anything at the moment. But I'm super excited for when I um, when it kicks in. And I haven't got these bloody smile lines. 
Not that there's anything wrong with smart lines. I just very self conscious of mine because they've always been very deep, and especially when I wear makeup, um, they just it like they the makeup just tends to sit in the lines and you know however much moisturizer or cream or anti-wrinkle stuff or like oils castor oil anything it just doesn't seem to get rid of the fine lines and i just thought i'd rather get do something about them now while i'm so young than like make them really deep for when i'm older and they're just like really deep like troughs but yeah um so it's just personal preference really but i'm so glad i got it done and i'm so sad that i couldn't like film in there guys but i kid you not it was over in 15 minutes i didn't even see the needle but from the way the emma cream worked it felt like perhaps it was the smallest needle i it was just so easy i was sat up like this had my eyes closed had my massager on my face had it in my hands as well and then she said she did five on each side but barely felt a thing so if anyone's interested in getting botox definitely go and get it done i went to the red brook clinic in salisbury really really recommend going there they're just really lovely ladies and from start to finish i had total confidence so i'm really really excited to see the results so what i will do is i'm not going to put this video up yet until i'll give it about five days and then i'll show you guys the results of the botox hey guys so i know i said i was going to wait like four or five days before i did the next video showing the results of the botox but honestly Yesterday was a it was like 24 hours after I had it done and I already could see amazing results and today is 48 hours and I am just like astonished so let me show you you can literally see that there is like barely any like lines like even screw my eyes up It's crazy the difference in what my eyes look like before to what they look like now. I'm just, I love it. I'm so happy. I honestly hated the lines around my eyes. Like, I know a lot of people think they're super endearing. So obviously, like, you know, it's expression and stuff like that. But for me, I just found them really, I was just really self-conscious. I didn't like them at all. And especially when I wore makeup, it, it, it just accentuated them. Even if, as much as I moisturized and didn't put in much makeup under my eyes, like, I still found especially in the sun where I'd be like screwing my eyes up that I'd just get like makeup just falling in the line. So I'm so happy. I'll show you guys again. I'm so happy. So I'll show you on my phone um, the before of what I looked like. So you can see those lines. Can you see? Look. Ah! If anyone else is considering this, then I'd absolutely go for it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please like and subscribe.